G'day guys. So I discovered a trick on BitStars the last couple of days um, and I've been using it and it's managed to make me quite a bit of money. I put in like 150 and I've managed to pull out 850 so it's definitely working for me. Um, it's similar to the strategy I was using before but I've updated it a little bit so I'll show you how it kind of works. Alright, so now this strategy actually relies on two things. First is the way that they actually do their fairness here. Now if we have a look what we can actually find is they do their fairness through this cryptographic hashing. Now it's similar to Bitcoin in the way that the transactions are recorded in the blockchain, uh, except instead of transactions, this time it's the game results. Uh, and the other thing to notice is the third party verification here by iTech Labs. Now that's important because we know that as they're a third party, they're going to be testing from a variety of IPs, from a variety of machines and making sure that on average the games are random. Now that we know that, the strategy relies on two things. Now, the first is good blackjack play. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's pretty good, like you don't want to be hitting on an 18 or standing on a 4, for example. Um, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You can follow a guide. I'll chuck one up on the screen for you. And generally what I do is I sit with it open on a second monitor. That way I know I'm playing as good as I can. Um, other than that, the other thing you need to know is card counting, which sounds hard, but trust me, if you can add in minus numbers, it's you can card count. So the way that we start first is we add a small bet amount. So I'm going to go 10 cents. Because I've got $100, generally you go 0.1% of what your bankroll is. And what we do is we're just going to bet and we're going to start counting these cards as they come out. So if we get a high card like these kings, what we're going to do is we're actually going to subtract one from a tally in our head. So we can see we've got a king and a jack, so it's going to put us at minus two. So we're going to stand on that and we get a push. So we just keep playing these hands as well as we can. So now we get a three and a four. And what we do is when we get a low card, we add one to the tally in our heads. So now that gives us a tally back to zero. All right, so we get a seven, so we're gonna hit. We get a 16, we're gonna hit again. And we get a 24, so we bust. But that's okay. Because we got low bets at the moment, we can, we can afford to lose some games. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to just play these hands and count these cards. So you can see we got two more high cards, that puts us back at negative two. And we're going to continue counting until we manage to get a high tally in our heads. So once we manage to get that high tally, I'll come back. See, this helps us because he's pulled a, a 2, a 2, a 5, and a 6, and only two high cards. So that'll bring our tally back to zero once again. So anyway, I'm going to keep playing these hands. Uh, after, it might take a while, but after I've done it and reached a high tally, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know. So I've been playing for a couple minutes now and I've managed to achieve a positive score of plus 10. Now you want it as high as you can uh, because then this will work better but plus 10 should work. Basically the trick of this system now is to take advantage of the blockchain technology. What we do is we come down to the fairness indicator here and you see where it says client seed? What we're going to do is we're going to change that. Now what's that done is that's essentially locked our records or our last history of our games into the blockchain and sealed it away. Now because we know that they have that I trust RNG third party verification, we can essentially guarantee that for any specific region, we must have on average random results. And since we're still connected to the same IP and thus the same region, we should be more likely to pull out more high cards and thus more likely to win. So what we do now is we implement a progressive betting scheme. So first, we go up and we're going to select 5% of our bankroll. So I started with 100, so I'm going to go with $5. And what we're going to do is we're going to do five or six hands. And if we lose a hand, then we're going to double our bet. So here we go. The first one, 20. We're going to stand. Beautiful. So we continue. 19, stand again. And notice how many high cards we're getting here. 20. Stand again. There we go. Fifth hand. Stand again. 19. We didn't win that one, but you can't expect to win every one. 
and blackjack. Look at that. Now that's a perfect proof of exactly how this system works. Is What it does is it makes sure that you're more likely to get more high cards. So we can continue playing these hands as long as we're being dealt high cards. We'll continue playing these hands until we start to see a lot more small number cards come out. 19. Here we go. 18. Eleven, always double and eleven. Here we go. So you notice we're still getting these high cards, and that's because I gave such a high count. There we go. Now we're starting and starting to get a two. So we're gonna hit that. We get a nineteen, and we'll stand. But now that I'm starting to notice these small cards are coming out more often, I might do one more hand. Beautiful, we got a 20. Okay, we'll stand with that. Okay, and you see now the dealer's pulled out a lot of these small cards. So I'm going to do one more hand just in case. Oh, beautiful. We're going to stand there again. And this is, this is a prime example of how this technique works, is you basically abuse the RNG to get these high number cards. There we go. We lost one there, but we're still getting high numbers. So we're going to double the bet, and we'll go one more. 10. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting the low numbers. Now I've picked up my bet. There we go. We bust. But that's okay. You can see we've managed to make 40 bucks in just a couple hands. After you've done this, you've got to make sure you come back down to the fairness, change this seed again, and go back and start betting high or low again. Sorry. Start betting your 10 cent bets again and start counting. There we go. So we're going to hit there, and we bust. But we just repeat this system over and over and over again. And you'll notice that you won't win every hand, but on average, you're going to start winning more often and win bigger amounts because you're more likely to get that blackjack three in one pay. Now, if you want to go and try this yourself, I can only personally guarantee that it works on BitStars Casino, as it's the only one that I've actually done it on. Uh, but personally, it's my favorite casino. It's got really good bonuses, plus it gives you free spins every day. So if you guys are looking to sign up, I'll leave a link in the description that'll give you some extra bonuses if you do use it when you sign up. Uh, plus, it helps me out as well. But I really would jump onto it as soon as you could, because it's probably not long before BitStars go and find out about it and then patch it out. So probably won't work for much longer. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, hit the like and subscribe. And good luck out there. Cheers, guys.